If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. And now during Team ID, you can actually get yourself some free on-store credit just by visiting the link in the description. Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be covering some last minute Player of the Month investments. If you did not know, Player of the Month should be dropping tomorrow. Tonight we have Team of the Year defenders and goalkeepers hopefully. Tomorrow we might see the full one and also we should see Player of the Month. So if you're wondering what time it should release, usually it's about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. But last time it was late and it was around 4 p.m. But it'll be about afternoon UK time. So the people we're looking more towards is like the likes of Lalana, Ebra. We're not too sure yet who it could be. I reckon it'll be Ebra, but I'm not too sure. So if you want to see my detailed video on investments, I did that I think last week. So make sure to check it out. But these are just some last minute investments you can make. So one of them was from last week's team of the week. And one of them is in the current team of the week. So the players you want to be looking at are the Premier League informs the likes of Trippier and Shawcross. First of all, Trippier, he's the cheapest Premier League inform, which is gold on the market right now. So all of the Premier League informs will go up if they are used. He's going for 15,000 coins now, about 16k roughly. If we check his price now, Trippier, if we have a look, it's about 16, 17,000 coins roughly. Here we go. Two cars for 16k, Trippier right there. I could see him going up probably near 20,000 coins when player of the month drops if it does require an inform because you're going to be heading to get an inform card. You want to get the cheapest one. You're going to be buying yourself a Trippier to be honest. I know his rating is only 81 but he is a right back so usually that rating is quite low anyway and it's an easy place to slot in. For all of these cards in this video buy them today. Team of the year defenders and goalkeepers do come out. You might want to buy these as soon as they drop because if EA do lightning rounds the prices may drop for a little bit so you might want to pick these up at around 6 p.m. However, if you pick them up now, you're not really going to be losing out on anything and they should all rise tomorrow. So Trippier is one and the other investment is actually Shawcross. The reason why you want Shawcross is because Inform Premier League, I think he's like the third or fourth cheapest Inform, but he is 84 rated. And getting an Inform which is 84 rated, they will go for a lot. I will show you the comparison. Winston Reid, two weeks ago, 84 rated Inform. He is going for 37,000 coins. And this is before player of the month. You can get an 84 Shawcross for 22,000 coins right now. Buy a Shawcross card and he will go up like guaranteed. I'm saying he's going to go over 30,000 coins if you require a Premier League team with an inform and the rating 84 or higher, which you should. So I have invested heavily in Shawcross and a couple of Trippiers. I picked up a load of reads as like when he was in packs ages ago. So I picked up all of these reads for 30,000 coins. He's going for about 37k, 40k right now. And all of these sure crosses, it's another 84 rated card. I know people won't use them in team, but to use it for the score builder challenge for player of the month, he's going to rise up at load in price. So I recommend picking up sure crosses and trippiers. They will go up. And this is like still a risk. There is a small chance that Premier League informs might not be used tomorrow in the player of the month. So do this at your own risk. Don't blame me if they don't go up. But you can see the amount of cards I've picked up here. I am putting quite a lot of money on the line. To be honest, I think my read profits that I've already had would cover any losses anyway. But it's just easy profit, to be honest. Just buying cards, holding them on for a day and selling them. I know it's a short video, but it's just a quick investment for tomorrow. I think I will show you the score builder challenge completion, depending on who it is. I might be able to do it as soon as possible as well when I get home from school. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.